guys welcome back to my channel today i am filming my 18 week bump date it feels like every time i sit down to do one of these update videos i feel like i'm just so amazed that i am already this far along in my pregnancy i mean i'm 18 weeks pregnant i'm two weeks away from being halfway there and that's crazy but i don't plan on going to 40 weeks pregnant i definitely want to give birth at like 38 or 39 at the latest. Obviously, I'm just kidding you guys. You can't plan on when you have your baby. I just really hope not to go overdue this time because it was awful. Okay, so 18 weeks pregnant baby is the size of a grapefruit and he is six inches long from crown to rump. So that's not including his legs. It's literally just from head to his butt and he weighs 8.4 ounces. So yeah, jumping right in to my symptoms, I... Oh God, I just posted this on my Instagram yesterday that I didn't want to talk about this because every time I talk about it, I end up jinxing myself. But uh, for the past three weeks now, I want to say, my morning sickness has been pretty much non-existent. I will get waves of nausea. I got one last night and it was for about like 30 minutes before I went to bed. And it just randomly throughout the day that will happen, but I am perfectly fine first thing in the morning, perfectly fine going to bed, and most days I feel absolutely no nausea and I am just so I'm so happy. It feels amazing to finally be able to function again because obviously I was not before. And it's been awesome having my energy levels back. And so I have been pretty busy lately and you know, not necessarily with anything productive, but I have been getting out of the house. I've been going to the park. I've been going for walks. I've been going to Target. I've been hanging out with Alex a lot more than I was. And so um, it's definitely better. I'm feeling so much better and my head feels just clearer now. And so yeah, I'm I'm feeling great, honestly. Uh, symptoms wise, I'm just feeling great. I have been dealing with the ligament pains now. They have started now. Um, so now that I've moved away from one problem, I've moved into another. If I walk too much throughout the day, um, I will feel kind of in, it's, it's kind of like the, the, the crotch area, like the armpit of your of your thigh. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. I'll show you guys, okay? I'm, I'll just show you. But like right in here, I get the pains on both sides of my legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I definitely feel that a lot when I'm walking around and super active throughout the day. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm really feeling this whole second trimester, pretty much no symptoms kind of thing but again if i move too fast i will get pains especially in my uterus if i stand up or sit down too fast it's just like this pulling pain and it's so bad and i just have to pause and hold on to something it's not fun another thing that i wanted to talk about is my braxton hicks so i did upload an easter vlog and in my easter vlog i did talk about how i was having pretty painful braxton hick contractions and just so you know when i say contractions they're braxton hicks braxton hicks are contractions they're just not contractions that lead to labor you start getting braxton hicks pretty much from the moment that you conceive because once your uterus starts to grow and expand and realize there's a baby in there, it starts doing these little practice contractions. And for first time moms, you generally don't feel them until the very end of your pregnancy. I felt them with Jax very early for a first time mom. I felt them at 15 weeks with Jax and I started feeling them around the same time with this pregnancy. And you generally feel them more and more with each pregnancy. On Easter, it was pretty scary. I did actually think that I was gonna have to go get Get checked out because they were really painful and Braxton Hicks I'm I definitely am not a believer that Braxton Hicks contractions should never be painful they can be painful especially if you get them really like strongly they can be painful but it's if they are too painful or getting regular or close together or you experience bleeding with them is when it becomes a problem uh, for me I can recognize a painful Braxton Hick versus a painful Braxton Hick where I would need to go to the hospital for it. Is it called Braxton Hick? Is this singular? Can you say just Braxton Hick or is it always Braxton Hicks? I don't know. I might sound dumb right now, but whatever. <laughs> Luckily, they do. They did go away and a, a pretty easy way to tell if you do need to go get checked at the hospital 
is to kind of lay down. I think it's on your left side. Or if you're already laying down and you started getting them, then switch positions and sip some water and try and hydrate yourself because de being dehydrated is one of the main causes of um, contractions in your body and being dehydrated can cause your contractions to be a lot stronger than they would be normally so make sure to be staying hydrated if you are pregnant even if you're not pregnant stay hydrated it's just good for you that's another thing that I've been dealing with but they're normally not painful it was on Easter when they were and that was the only time that I felt very uncomfortable by them but generally I feel them um, at least a couple times a day and I just feel this uh, kind of this pressure and if I feel my belly and feel like where my uterus is, I can feel like it hardening up and I'm like, oh, that's a Braxton Hick. Hicks. <laughs> what else? I am definitely feeling baby move so much more now and it's very exciting. I love, I love the kicks. I just love them. They're so reassuring and they're just so like magical. <laughs> it's something that I definitely missed with being pregnant with Jax was his kicks. I just love them so much and I'm feeling them and I can definitely feel them from the outside of my belly now if I put my hand on where he's kicking I'll feel them um, on my hand so far Carl has not felt one yet every time Carl tries to go and feel the baby kick he stops kicking he always gets so offended he's always just like oh my god he hates me and I'm like no he's just he might hate you I love messing with him I feel like he's gonna be so bothered by me by the time he pops out of the womb because I, I constantly just like give him little taps and I'm like hey hey Hey, you. I did want to mention weight gain because I am gaining weight now. I Last time I got weight at my doctor's office, I had gained weight and my doctor is definitely not concerned about it. Weight gain is normal during pregnancy. Just putting that out there because um, I have gotten a couple comments, I think, saying that I should lose weight so that I can be healthier during my pregnancy, which is not how pregnancy works. Just putting that out there. If I needed to lose weight for whatever reason during my pregnancy, um, my doctor would be the one telling me to do so, not people on the internet. So just a little word of advice, never tell anyone they need to lose weight. I don't care who you are, I don't care how certified you are to say it. If you are not that person's personal doctor, personal dietitian, personal anything, don't say it. Just don't. It's, it's, it's a rude thing to do and you just look like an ass. I forgot to say how much I've gained. Um, let me do some math real quick because it's hard to say because I'm still under my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, I'm still haven't reached that point because again, I did lose weight initially. From the initial weight that I lost, I have gained around five pounds, but it could be a little less because obviously your weight does fluctuate from day to day and from time of day. But uh, I'm pretty sure I've gained around five pounds this pregnancy, which is where I should be, and it's even below where I should be. But I am still considered uh, two pounds down from my initial pregnancy weight. So once I gain another two pounds, then I will be at a net weight of zero. It's kind of confusing. Um, even my doctor was a little bit confused by it because I started seeing him later in my pregnancy. He didn't know my pre-pregnancy weight, so I had to explain to him that I lost weight. And yeah, it was just, the weight is just a confusing part of my pregnancy. <laughs> um, other than that, what am I craving? I am craving not a lot actually. I'm definitely not craving as much unhealthy food as I was when I was sick. I don't know why, but when I am sick, I will really only eat like fast food and greasy food and gross food. I'm surprised I lost weight initially. <laughs> but now, um, fast food doesn't really sound great. What I am craving uh, currently is peppermint hot chocolate and the Starbucks mozzarella panini. I blame Alex for that because she got one on our road trip to Utah and I tried a bite of it and ever since then I have been needing it in my life. I'm craving onion rings. <laughs> I don't know why. I w this was a craving that happened about a week ago. But now that I said it out loud, I'm like, yeah, that sounds real good. Right after I said I wasn't craving fast food. Um, onion rings, oh uh, my god. I don't even like onion rings that much. I will never really get onion rings. I'll eat them if they're in front of me. But I will not uh, order them for myself, and I never really find myself being like, oh, you know what sounds good? Some onion rings. Another thing I wanted to talk about because... This is something that has been important to me. It might not be important knowledge to you, but I just felt like sharing because it is something that I'm trying to be a lot better at is managing. Obviously, I've talked about managing my weight, but um, going on walks. I am so proud of myself. Ever since my morning sickness has gone away and I've got my energy back, I have been utilizing that really well for my body. I have been um, 
going for walks with Jax, I walk at least 30 minutes every single day. And if I don't go out for a walk, I'm normally going out to do stuff and I end up walking around for a total of 30 minutes. So I count it and I have been staying hydrated and I have just been doing like good things for my body and it, it feels good. I've been eating a lot better. It just I'm, I'm feeling really good. I'm in a really positive spot in my pregnancy and I'm hoping that I can continue the same mindset, continue my walking, continue my 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 eating of good foods i'm just happy things are really good right now life feels really really good and it probably is because the seasonal depression is over and my also depressive episodes from when i couldn't get out of bed are over and i'm just like the sun is just shining a little bit brighter now so i'm gonna do the belly shots i definitely look pregnant now guys i i think alex still doesn't think i look pregnant but i feel like i look pregnant Look at that! That is so different from two weeks ago, I feel like. But yeah, let me pull that down. I'm finally buying maternity clothes for myself. I got a belly now. I'm excited. Uh, I should wrap up this video. I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions or anything that I didn't talk about, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will try and answer every single one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.